Welcome back everyone to another amazing Operator Lore video and today we're talking all about Team Rainbow's Fitness Expert IQ. Today we're going to learn about IQ's childhood and how she is actually an academic genius, how she used to be an author and how she is literally the most athletic operator in all of Siege. Now if these types of videos interest you then make sure to subscribe to the Sir Jebby YouTube channel. Also I'm running a giveaway so stay tuned till the end of the video to find out how you can enter this awesome giveaway. With all that out of the way let's start things off as we always do with when and where IQ was born. IQ's real name is actually Monica Weiss, and she was born on August 1st, and uh, she's actually 38 years old as of today. Monica was born in Liespig, Germany. I'm sure I butchered the name of that city, so if anyone from Germany is watching, can you correct me please, because I'm pretty sure I destroyed that city. Anyways, IQ was born into an extremely, extremely gifted family. Most of us have some pretty average lives with some pretty average family, but uh, not IQ. Her mother was a renowned mathematician. Oh my god, I hate math. That was literally my least favorite subject in all of school. Uh, what is your guys' least favorite subject in school? Uh, let me know in the comments below. So Monica's mom is a super nerd about math, while her father was an inventor with high academic skills as well. So IQ and her siblings were brought up in a family system where they needed to be basically top 1% intelligence if they wanted to amount to what their parents were able to accomplish in their lifetimes. We don't know how many siblings that Monica has or what the ages of them are, but what we do know is, is that every single one of them were literally child prodigies. The high academic standards that their mom and dad forced upon them made them win numerous awards in math, science, and music throughout all of their schooling. Wow, so uh, that makes me feel like a chump. I remember I got like an A in history once and uh, that's pretty much it. Monica was basically in a gifted program for every class she was in. She was given an opportunity to complete her first internship at a local tech company, all that by the age of 16. This is something that will uh, become very important in the uh, future of this video. One thing that IQ struggles with is making friends and communicating with people. That's actually something I forgot to talk about earlier in the video is uh, just that IQ had no problem at all when it comes to learning and becoming literally a genius, but she did have a hard time socially. It must have to do something with the majority of her time spent behind a book, reading or researching that she uh, missed out on learning how to become well, a social person, or she missed out on other types of different uh, social techniques as well, where she learns not to be so awkward. That's actually something I find very common with almost all the operators in all of Siege, besides Ace, he's literally a cloud god, but uh, is that they all have such a hard time opening up to people and have some major trust issues. Moving on, along with academic skills, IQ was just as passionate being as physically fit as possible. Working out and pushing her body to the absolute limits is something she strives to get better at each and every day. This is what her elite skin is basically based off of. Monica was invited to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology after she graduated high school. She majored in electrical engineering and achieved some prestigious accolades for her expertise in microelectronics. And uh, as if that wasn't enough, she then joined the California Institute of Technology for a graduate in experimental electrical engineering. That sounds pretty hard and something I don't think I would ever be able to accomplish in my life. After her time spent in the States becoming literally a genius, she returns to Germany to join the oof, the uh, Bundespolizei, the, the Bunds, Bundespolizei, the, the Bundespolizei. Wow. Oh, look, there's an acronym. Uh, BPOL, B-P-O-L. That's, uh, that's much easier. This is basically the federal police system in Germany. Since IQ has spent her entire life pushing her physical and mental abilities to the absolute max, this was a really good fit for her. She always wanted to join the police force and bring the knowledge that she learned with her. Monica quickly grew through the ranks, and after a long two years, she was recruited into the GSG-9. I don't think the GSG-9 needs uh, much of an introduction at all, but for anyone that doesn't know, this is an elite organization specializing in counterterrorism, and uh, four of the operators for Team Rainbow happen to have come from this division. 
and uh, the GSG-9 are perfect for IQ. Monica completed some very important missions with the GSG-9. Everything from taking out terrorists to using her expertise in electronics to further advance the equipment that the German police force has to offer. Since Monica did so well and advanced the ranks very quickly with the GSG-9, she had a spotlight shine on her. This spotlight would come in clutch when IQ was looking to advance her career to the next level. In 2015, an elite worldwide task force was looking for some of the most elite specialists and operators the world had to offer. When this elite organization came to Germany for recruitment, they looked at the GSG-9 for their best men and women. Anyone want to guess what this elite task force was called? It is none other than Team Rainbow, led by their leader Six, or better known as Harry. Harry specifically seeked out the GSG-9 for their diverse strategies of counter-terrorism. Harry offered his hand to the four best cadets that they could offer. The GSG-9 immediately recruited Bandit, Jaeger, Blitz, and our very own Monica, which will later receive her call sign of IQ. Of course, with all the cadets that join Team Rainbow, there needs to be a psychological profile or psychological evaluation done by Harry before he can officially recruit them to Team Rainbow. This evaluation was a very special one because it kind of helps IQ out with her social awkwardness. In the evaluation, Harry talks about how he is truly amazed on how athletic IQ was. He goes on to say, when she does manage to pull herself away from rock climbing, spelunking, which I have no idea what that is, and well, countless other athletic and intellectual pursuits, uh, she writes science fiction. Wow, so I absolutely had no idea before I started doing research for this video that uh, IQ was a writer, an author, and science fiction seems to fit her theme very well based on everything that we've covered so far in this video. Uh, I wonder how popular she is or if she managed to publish any books. Well, we don't get any information on that uh, in the lore. I couldn't find anything about that. But it's definitely cool to think about if she was a popular author in, uh, in, in this world. Monica has so much energy and Harry even states in the evaluation that she kind of exhausted him just by talking so much. He said that her energy drained him like when he completed his very first marathon as well as IQ. Oh, that's cool. I had absolutely no idea that Harry ran a marathon either. I, I can hardly run two miles. So, uh, you know, there's that. They also go on to say about how Monica struggles with social interaction. She tells Harry that uh, she has always had a very hard time talking to people and forming meaningful relationships. This is uh, upsetting to me because I know a lot of you guys out there feel the same way as IQ does right now. She then says that the only people that she opens up with or feels comfortable talking with really are her family because they're the only people who uh, truly understand her. IQ really doesn't have any friends, at least any close friends, and she admits that to Harry. You know what guys, I need you all to stop what you're doing right now and in the comments, tell IQ that you'll be her friend. I've had enough of this with IQ feeling upset about her having no friends. Let's all band together right now and in the comment section, rate it with IQ, I will be your friend. IQ then tells Harry a little more about her childhood and her parents. She says that her mom was someone who madly obsessed with finding patterns to chaos. And then goes on to say that her uh, dad launched many, many experimental rockets out of the family garage, probably in an effort to invent something. Monica tells Harry that uh, she struggles when it comes to not knowing how to do something or not being good at something either. It's something she's always had a hard time with and uh, probably goes all the way back to uh, her childhood where her parents demanded absolute excellence. Harry questions why out of all of the amazing things IQ could have done with her life, all of the uh, things that she could have invented or helped develop, why she decided to go into law enforcement. And she said this, she said it was an opportunity to work with the state of the art equipment and express her love for her country at the same time. Wow, that was a lot to go over for the evaluation. Let's move on to the device evaluation that every new cadet needs to do when they join Team Rainbow. But before we do, I want to share some cool information with you guys that I found out. So Tokubi and IQ actually teamed up to develop their gadgets further. They wanted to come up with a way to synergize themselves to hunt down enemies more quickly and efficiently. They came up with a way to whenever Tokubi calls the enemies, IQ can whip out her scanner and pick up the interference and identify where they are at when they are messing with their phone. That 
that's actually a pretty cool thing that I didn't even know can happen. Let's move on to the device evaluation. And interestingly enough, it was IQ that did her own evaluation. Let's listen in as I read the device evaluation for Monica Weiss. Under the direct of both Six and Mira, I've been helping lead a team of specialists for the department's equipment evaluations. As the battlefield evolves, technology needs to evolve too. Evaluation tests of the Red MK3 Spectre in the lab have been mostly positive. The frequencies have been adjusted and the scanner has improved. It's always been a goal to have the gadget's detection communicated to the team in real time. Field tests for this modification are attached. One final note, I noticed specialist Jay Estrada, or better known as Pulse, was added to the tech lab schedule. The last time he was in the lab, his prank modifications to the Spectre were not even mildly amusing. If he's going to hang around the lab and participate in the evaluations, I suggest that we all keep a close eye on him. Uh, he isn't as funny as he thinks he is. Now with the evaluation done, I feel like now is a great time to talk to you guys about the giveaway. I'm giving you guys both two $25 gift cards to whatever place or thing you guys want. All you have to do to enter is make sure you subscribe to Sir Jeppy here on YouTube and join the amazing Discord server. The link for the Discord server will be in the description below uh, for this video. Also, you need to post this picture to your Instagram story and tag me. Just, uh, just look me up on Instagram and screenshot the picture uh, to post it. After that, just DM me on Insta with proof that you did all these things so I can organize everything much better. Uh, good luck to you all, and I really do love you all. I appreciate you guys for enjoying the videos. Well, we're all caught up on IQ's lore. Did you know that she was actually this smart? Or what other cool things did you learn about her today? You can let me know by leaving a comment down below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video and think I did a good job making it, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe with notifications if you're new. Now, with all that being said, Jeppy!